Hey everybody, Bam Collectibles here, back for another statue unboxing review for you. Today is special because I'll be showcasing and sharing with you my very first Naruto statue I ever purchased. As you can see above, early Naruto statues did not come with fancy artwork on the boxes. They were just plain cardboard with crappy styrofoam packaging. You can see here the quality of it. Honestly, I could snap this in half with a light karate chop if I wanted to. The overall look and quality of statue packaging has come such a long way. When I first started off, I was very hesitant because some of the websites look pretty shady and also I wanted to buy a smaller statue to kind of test the whole process out. This was the first. You will see the Nara clan that Shikimaru belongs to engraved there on the bottom. I'm sure there are other names that this jutsu goes by, but I'm going to be calling it the Shadow Stitching Jutsu. On the bottom, you will see notches in which it will fit into the base, and the paint job on these are very interesting. It looks like they might have started clear and then slowly painted on that gray-black coloring on top of it. Unlike some of the newer statues that include magnets to hold things into place, this one just sits there. That's it. Easily pull out, easily put in. Now, for the purpose of continually not reviewing black pieces of resin, I'm going to show you this last one, and then we're going to install the rest of them. Because so many have commented on my videos recently telling me how much I'm butchering pronunciation, I'm going to go ahead and share something with you. I started watching Naruto well before things like YouTube or dubbed version of the anime, so I actually originally called him Shikamaru. Now, I know it's Shikamaru now, but I'm just sharing with you there are a lot of things that I've had to rewrite through the years as bad habits set in when I was a kid. I have to say, for this being one of the earliest statues that I ever purchased and it being many years old, the sculpt for Shikamaru is absolutely perfect. The paint job on him is very clean, and I will be the first to admit to you, I don't even know what studio made this. Because there's no name on the box or anything, it's been that many years, and this thing is so non-existent that I have no idea to say where he came from. This statue is not taken from a specific scene in the show that I'm aware of, but I like to think of it as that moment that he stitched up Hidan during their fight. Something interesting that I did read up is the fact that the Nara clan originally created the Shadow Possession Jutsu for the purpose of hunting deer. In the statue, he doesn't have any magnets as well. He kind of just sits right in the middle there. Yes. The Ino Shikacho formation has always been one of my favorites. I look forward to eventually showcasing all three of them when they were younger in a future video. I hope you enjoyed the showcase and review of my first ever Naruto statue. Let me know in the comments below what was your first. And as always, everybody, do what you love and love what you do. Bam out.